Hello, and thank you for watching Accelerate with Nerdio. In today's lesson, we're going to quickly discuss FS Logic and some of the integrations that Nerdio Manager for MSP allows for. Please remember that FS Logic is a multifaceted tool provided by and supported through Microsoft. While we have some easy buttons to help you tell your hosts how to use it and where to find it, we can't provide any you know, granular support if it's not working uh, outside of Nerdio Manager for MSP. And this is going to be relative to setting permissions on the underlying storage, understanding how containers work, and there are also other features like app masking and other types of containerization that can be done that aren't currently supported directly through Nerdio Manager for MSP. As always, visit help.nerdio.net for access to more of these types of videos. I'm starting in an account in Nerdio Manager for MSP, and I think it's important to recognize that here under Settings and Integrations, we've got our FSLogic Profile Storage section. So I've got a single location here. I can click on it. I can modify that storage path or profile path if needed. This is where it will place all of the VHD and VHDXs. I can also add and modify these registry options. These are provided by Microsoft as best practices, right? We've got prevent login with failure. We've got VHDX is the profile type. Um, so, you know, please know that this is here and obviously modify it as needed. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel. Now, if we look at host pools and we go to drop down properties FS logic, we'll see those same settings again, right? So what's happening here? Here we have an on off toggle. If this is off, and your template has FS Logic already installed on it, and maybe you want to manually manage customizing and delivering FS Logic, great. Keep this off. Hosts will get built. You're in full control of how FS Logic gets delivered, version type, things like that. If this is set to on, then you're going to want to uninstall the FS Logic utility from your template if it's there, uh, or from your image. And when your host gets built with this on, it will. Um, establish this profile path, these registry options, and install the latest version of the FS Logic utility, right? So again, what we're doing is we're coming in with a desktop image that doesn't have FS Logic pre-configured, and Nerdio is going to grab the latest version, install it on the host as it's being created, and then update the registry to these core settings, again, based on Microsoft uh, best practices. Now we'll notice I can take the check mark out. If needed, I could even customize some of these for hosts, right? Default is being drawn by integrations, but you could always modify this across some different host pools. Uh, I'm going to point back as well to this amazing article at help.nerdio.net, Understanding FS Logic in Nerdio Manager for MSP. We will talk about and point back to some of the support resources you can find for FS Logic and storage, as well as walk you through the same settings we just discussed. Pretty amazing utility here. So thank you again for watching this video and help.nerdio.net for answers to all of your questions. Take care.